This is our Fleetwood Meridian 640 EKB. As you can see from the side, we've got some storage there, which is also a wet locker. Caravan mover at the front there, which makes it easy to get it in and out and into small narrow spaces. At the back there, as you can see from the vents, we've got an end kitchen, which we'll show you in a minute when we go inside. At the front, we've got a storage locker at the front, and we've replaced the jockey wheel with a one with a pneumatic tyre, which is a lot better. And as you can see from the top as well, you've got the, the sunlight at the front for the living area. Okay, this is the offside of the caravan. As you can see from the two windows in the centre, that's for the fixed bunk beds. Shows the um, shower room and toilet room at the back with the window at the back. And you've got the, the battery box and the, the mains connection at the front on the right hand corner. Caravan from the rear with the uh, kitchen window at the back. Okay, this is the caravan from the inside. As you can see looking at the condition, it's, it's light new. We've got the um, seating area at the front which makes into uh, a double bed. The centre drawers in the centre, the um, a slider comes out and then you can spin the, the mattresses and spin the cushions and make a, a double bed. In the centre of the caravan you have the uh, storage space, large double cupboard, get lots of stuff in there and underneath it um, is the electric fire, runs off electric and gas. Control panel up there for your electric and your, and your heating. As we move across, you see on the side the two fixed bunk beds. We found this especially useful because the children can go to sleep at night, they're tucked away to one side and you've still got the full run of the caravan all the way down to the kitchen as you can see at the end. Extra seating area with a, a smaller table. Two seats. They, um, they fold flat, the table drops down and the seats fold flat and that makes a, a fifth bed and behind it is a, a bunk bed which you can pull out and set up and that makes the caravan six berth. But really really comfortable, lots of space and you can sit six people down to a meal really comfortably, two there and four at the front. As you can see the bunk beds are really really generous, um, my oldest 14 and they fit in there no problem whatsoever um, one problem with a lot of caravans is the bunk beds um, need to be made up and down every night and they are really really tiny but as you can see from these there's loads and loads of room storage space a fixed ladder TV points loads of space and really comfortable for them and as I said earlier you can still have the run of the caravan at night even when they've gone to bed. Storage space all around, plenty of lighting, lots of storage space all the way around the caravan, all down the side and all the way into the kitchen. Got your cooker at the back, oven and grill, three burners, and as we move a bit further in, you've got your three-way fridge, runs off the leisure battery or can run off the, the gas or can run off the electric. Moving a little bit further round, I've got a microwave in there and a bit more storage space and an extractor fan to keep everything uh, clean and smelling fresh. Sink in the corner there, plenty big enough to wash lots of bits and pieces up with. And to the left of that, you've got the door which leads into the bathroom. Moving further round, we'll go into the bathroom. As you can see, got your shower unit, 
really really generous shower lots of space good shower as well plenty of power from it we do tend to use the showers in the campsite so it's only been used a couple of times so um, it's obviously very clean and, and uh, looks like the day we bought it nice generous seat, uh, sink space there's some storage space underneath and then we move around we've got the Thetford cassette toilet and also some more storage space lots and lots of room think about some caravans and the, the bathrooms and the tiny but not in this one and that's the inside of the caravan from the from the back giving you an idea of the length of the, the caravan and how much space it's got and hopefully from the video you'll also be able to see just what great condition the caravan's in